In this tutorial, you'll learn how to use Filmic Pro's best-in-class integration with the DJI Osmo Mobile 2, which allows you to initiate recordings and adjust your focus and exposure directly from the gimbal without having to touch your screen. Remember, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments and I'll be happy to help you out. I've been using the Osmo 2 for about six weeks now and I'm a huge fan and can highly recommend this if you want a great gimbal for your smartphone. Let's start off by pairing the Osmo 2 with Filmic Pro. Power on your gimbal and enable Bluetooth on your device under iOS settings. Tap to select your Osmo, then accept the pair request. Once connected to the Osmo, launch Filmic Pro and open up settings, hardware, and turn on DJI Osmo Mobile. Note that if this is the first time you're pairing your Osmo Mobile 2, you'll need to have an active network connection to complete this process. Select your gimbal from the list and you're now ready to control Filmic Pro directly from the Osmo. Filmic Pro supports three Osmo Mobile modes. Mode 1 is the pan and tilt mode and surprisingly, it allows you to control the pan and tilt of your Osmo Mobile. Mode 2 is the reticle mode. This allows you to lock and unlock your focus and exposure reticles. And mode 3 is manual mode which gives you fine grain manual control over focus and exposure. The zoom rocker on the side of the Osmo Mobile 2 is set up to act as a dedicated mode selector in Filmic Pro, rather than control the digital zoom which will degrade your image quality. You can cycle through the three modes by sliding the zoom rocker down to progress from the pan tilt mode into reticle mode, slide down again to enter manual mode, and slide down a final time to cycle back into pan and tilt mode. In mode 1, sliding the joystick left and right will control the pan, and up and down will control tilt. This is velocity sensitive, so the slower you move the joystick, the slower the pan and tilt, which can give you some incredibly cinematic results, and replicate the functionality of a high-end fluid head tripod. If we slide down on the zoom rocker to end mode 2, reticle mode, sliding left on the joystick will lock the exposure reticle, preventing it from automatically responding to changes in lighting, and just slide left again to unlock it. Sliding right on the joystick in mode 2 will lock and unlock the focus reticle. If we press down on the zoom rocker to enter mode 3, manual mode, our manual arcs will be revealed and we can press and hold up or down to manually set our focus, and hold left or right to manually adjust the exposure. When used in combination with Filmic Pro's live analytics, it makes manual adjustments really easy thanks to zebra overlays and focus peaking. If you find that the manual focus and exposure changes are too fast or slow on the joystick, you can swipe in from the side to reveal the speed control slider and manually dial in your preferred speed here. The beauty of the side zoom rocker as mode selector is that it's directional. If you want to return to a previous mode, for example to go back to mode 2, you can just slide up to jump back and down again if you want to return to mode 3. The Osmo Mobile 2 has two modes of operation which are independent of Filmic Pro. Follow mode is the default when powering on the device and will follow your movements and apply smoothing for cinematic results. The second is free mode which will lock the gimbal in place and is great for maintaining set framing even whilst moving. To switch between the two modes, just press the mode button once. On the Osmo 2, you can quickly tell which mode you're in by the color of the LED. Green is used for follow mode and yellow for free mode. Well, I hope this tutorial helped you out. If it did, like and subs are always appreciated and make sure you check out the channel for more Filmic Pro tutorials. If you have any questions, please ask them in the comments and until next time, happy filming.